What helps animals and plants to survive in different environments? What if a polar bear was moved to the desert? What would happen? What if we tried to plant an orange tree in the north? Would it grow? What if the swamp cypress was placed in the forest? What if the tiger was placed in the Arctic? Would it survive? What is it that helps all these plants and animals survive in the environment they're in? Let's take a look at the anteater. The anteater lives in South America in the rainforest. Take a look at his tongue. It's super long. Why do you think he would have such a long tongue? The anteater gets its name because it eats ants and termites. Without the anteater's long tongue, it would not be able to get ants from nests. What about the cactus? Why is the cactus so prickly? Since the cactus usually lives in the desert, it uses the spiny needles to help keep predators away. I want you to think about another animal. Think about the alligator. What characteristics does the alligator have that helps it survive? Sometimes animals are born with characteristics that help them survive in their environment. Take a look at this picture. Can you find the animal? Do you give up yet? Look closely right there. The leopard is hiding. What about this picture? Are you able to find the animal in their own environment? What characteristics does this animal have that helps them to survive? Take a closer look. What would happen if this bird was red or orange, like the birds of the rainforest? Some animals have certain behaviors that help them, them to survive. For example, polar bears have to hibernate in the winter. In order for birds to survive, someone has to teach them how to fly. I want you to take a look at one last animal, the swan. What physical characteristics help this animal to survive in their environment? Think about its feet. Think about the size of it, the color. Do any of these things help this animal to survive? Now think about some of the behaviors that this animal has. Knowing what you already know about birds, do you think that the baby swans would have to learn something from their mother in order for them to survive in their environment? There's one more thing that actually might help this swan survive, but we have to think beyond just this animal. What is it that helps the whole species of swan survive? Take a look at the number of eggs this swan has laid. Why do you think that there's so many eggs? Will all the eggs hatch? What if the swan only laid one egg? Would things be different? In your STEM journal, I'd like for you to write down the characteristics of the swan that you notice. What are some of the physical characteristics? Maybe the color, maybe some of the things that the swan has that might help it survive. Also, what are some of the behaviors that you would think a swan would need to survive in their environment? And then I want you to answer the final question. What would happen if the swan only laid one egg? Why do you think the swan lays so many eggs? Bring your completed journal to class when you come see me, either on Thursday or Friday, and that's how I'll know that you watch this video. I'll see you then.